is this different? Not because it's explosive. Fine, I'll go down the pit. Fine, I'll go in the sewage tube. Wait, there's still only the second thing. Heck no, we're not going to be fitting Quake 64 in this. We might not even fit all of this. What is that? Grenade launcher. Wow. What? No. I drank anyway. Hi, Ketchup. How are you doing today? Oh yeah, M mod. Dismount the vehicle turret weapons. Oh, tower cannon. That was it. That's tempting to use. Yep. That does a bunch of stuff, doesn't it? The M mod. Bunch of gameplay changes. Yum. Yum. There we go. Isn't that also the mod that gives you like a weird shovel thing, and when you hit the ground, you fly into the air? That might have been something else. Hmm. <clears throat> bit of a lazy day. Feeling a little bit lazy, are we? But good, glad you are well. Ah. Bosh. Oh my god, another adrenaline. You having a giggle? How many do we need? Oh my god! He's done an inferno. Isn't it Elden Ring music? Is it? It is good, actually. I was about to ask if it is actually any good, but yeah, of course it is. That's some very good boss music, especially the Godskin boss music. <clears throat> Standard FPS arsenal, melee pistol shotgun, beefier. Rapid fire uses pistol ammo, rocket launcher, grenade launcher. If you're a twat, yeah, grenade launcher is usually not very good. Yeah, then the energy weapons, the weird weapons, psycho artifact no one asked for. The soul cube was good. Yeah, that sounds right. That's a lot of weapons. Zach usurped it, is it? Does Zack type a lot? Maybe if it's about anime. Something he's real passionate about. Anime. Is there anything down here? Not particularly, no. Boss you haven't faced yet. Oh, the music. Oh. The boss. I'm so worried about the DLC. Computer updated. Computer butt dated. Ladder. It's not though. In my thing about JRPGs, oh yeah, that too. Required a nightmare, yeah. Getting rid of all the med kits, the bastards. I don't remember. I think the health machine still worked at least, but yeah. Oh no, why do I have bad memories of this room? Bow. I want that. What's going on? I'm safety on I'm safety on a box. I'm safely on a box. Our station's still here. Still yeah. Try it. Alright, see ya. Right, I'm coming out. No one invited you up here. Ooh, Ooh. Safentazine. Safentazine. Safety zone. 
Yeah, safety zone. You know what I'm talking about. But you don't know how to get me. Safety zone. The safest place in the zone. Sa safety zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ow, no, it isn't actually. Wised up to my shit. Ah, piss. Shit and piss mentioned in as many seconds. Thanks, Infernal. Still more fighting. Almost safety zone 2.0, that. Yeah. But no such luck. Good with your veteran. Yeah, veteran's good enough. Nightmare's just bragging rights. Don't know why dragons have... Oh, sacks. Of course I saw that as a different word. Sexy sacks. Yeah, that would be nice. They're all sexy though. Calling one sexy sex would just be stating the obvious, so it's not necessary really. They all have dragon in the name, which basically translates to sexy in the first place. Is that all the ammo I had? What the ridiculous... ...ness. This is easy, actually. I guess I didn't use the railgun when I first played it. With its piercing shite. Milton Keynes Hazard Alley. What the fuck is that? Oh, welcome to the chat room. If you've said anything since whatever you can see on screen, you'll have to say it again, because Twitch... Twitch did. Twitch did what Twitch do. Or something did something, anyway. Yu Yom. Made it, I can't believe it. Now who? Whoa! Can you hit me through the door? No, good. You actually moved me, so you are making contact. But good, Night Dive have done something good for once. Sorry Night Dive, you're wonderful. Thank you for bringing these games back to us. Chin Smoker, oh no. That's a good one. On oh, no, a clip of the new safety zone, good. Danker. More clippage always necessary. Ah, rocket launcher. I guess that's good to have. Little too, little too late. That's oh, shit, what have I done? Oh, shit. Ancient carrier. Is it ancient? I don't know. Looks like it's in pretty good nick. Hello. What an idiot. He's got a bullseye on his whatever that is. To play the PS3 game called Lair. Dragons Deluxe, but do you fight them? If so, I don't want it. Making working on PO'd. What is that? Parody game with walking asses on the 3DO? What the hell? I mean if it's got asses, I'm interested already. But that sounds very strange, that does. He should come over here. Ah, boss music. Oh, you got that right. Arses. Yum. You got that right as well. Die. You just fell off and oh, you did die. Yum. Ride and fight them. I guess that's kind of okay then. It's just Draken again. But less good, probably. Because what could be as good as Draken? Order of the Phlegm. 
flame, do a flame. Yeah, basically dead already. You know what I should be doing? Ah. Huh. Ah. Made it. That was pretty good, that was. I got a head. He'll be, he'll never be the head of a major corporation. Yeah. Yeah, you know it. Skyrim-esque mounted dragon controls. Well, if it's Skyrim-esque mounted dragon controls, I don't know if I want it after all. I don't think Skyrim had particularly good mounted dragon controls. What is this? I was just in there. What? Yes, I got it. What's happening? What the hell? Huh? It's just going forever. Messing up blokes on the ground, Dragon Guard style. I don't know if Dragon Guard style is a um, compliment for it either. Oh no, the bean has become a Chad. Big bean. No longer is he a string bean. He never was actually. His emotes were always a bit round. Hmm. Came out a bit before Skyrim. Dodgy controls. Nah, I don't want it then, probably. I don't know, maybe. I'll have to have a look. You came before Skyrim. How? How could anyone? Skyrim is necessary for, ah. for cummage. What's happened now? The compass has messed up again. It keeps doing this. I can't believe Night Dive didn't consider every possible moment that someone could use the compass. Where? What the hell? Do you want me to go back? Resume previous objective. What do you mean? I'm going. I got the head. What more could one need in life? Okay, yes. I don't know why the compass wasn't telling me to go back. What? Go here. Whatever. Temperamental compass. Malfunctioning technology. Beef stroganoff is is messing with my signal. Very rough. As long as it's not Dragon's Lair. Now that's a naff game. That I kind of respect. I mean the animation is amazing, but the trial and error quick time eventness of it. It's like a game that is specifically what I don't like. Quick time events and trial and error. You were born after 2000 don't exist. They shouldn't, at the very least. Wish they didn't sometimes. God. That just means you can tell the tilt stuff to sod off. I suppose that's good. Feels like a home care around here. Compass was tit for you there too. Hmm. Been quite a few places it's been weird, but someone needs to patch it. Didn't use the compass during the entire thing. It's probably better that way. What are you lot doing? Whatever. Oh my god, another adrenaline. Oh, hello. Uh. I wasn't 
there yet. I don't know what you were doing. Threatening the wall. Oh dear, anger. Oh, it's you. Never mind. Does the railgun count as an, e an energy weapon? I guess so, maybe. Around a Cromera. Ow! I was out in the open. Chonk. I don't know if I found this. Oh, it's going to the adrenaline. At least I need it this time. For once in my silly thing that I call a life. Who's splashing around? Fish. Flop in the sewer. Dragons there on the NES. Oh, that one, yeah. That one is a masterpiece, yeah. Because you got to be a master to be able to play it. A master pissman. Or piss lady. Mistress piece. Yeah, why is it masterpiece, not mistress piece? Everything is named after, like, the male thing. Like, human. History. Masterpiece. Where's all the mistress? Is this a secret? You can't even go down there. Why is it here then? What a strange thing. You should at least be able to fall down it. Energy to fire a slug that isn't an energy weapon. Well, damnation. Rubbish. Just when you thought the railgun was a good gun. Stroganoff suggests the existence of Stroganon. Oh yeah, Stroganon. But non also means non, as in not. So they're both not, as in they're both off. You can't go down this one either. Why are these holes here if they're not threats? Hello? I saw you wobbling about. Mm. Mm, this bit, another adrenaline. Who could have imagined? Absolutely not me. What's this? Is this good? Not sure if been before. There's movement though. Oh, is it this place? Well, it's this place. Which is fine and everything, but... You know what? What's up here? Uh, that. Plasma beam. Well, oh no, now I'm here. I don't want to be here. This is forever ago. Hi. Okay, this is fine, actually. I mean, this gun isn't really worth the damage, probably, but... I'll accept it anyway, because it's a thing, and I got it. And the more things I have in life the better. More thongs as well, so if you've got any thongs going, you know who to give them to. Girls don't pee, what's the point then? What's the point of them existing? Penis elemental, it should be another name for that. I don't want to be male anymore, I want to be a penis elemental. Sister company. Midwife? Oh yeah, I guess so. Well, then again, men can't be midwives, so that at least makes sense. Probably the same for Queen Bee. But yeah, sister company, I guess. Desire to get fendomed? I don't even try to contain that, I'll just let it out. 
I'll spill the beans anytime. Oh, Salazzle. Make me do anything you want. No matter what. Doesn't one of these open? Ugh. He's back. Oh! Back again for some more action. I don't think he was ready for it though. That's not even a secret, that's just there. That's just up for grabs. Meat grinder in gun form. Also works on metal. Forgot to space wanna and be. Oh no, it's that kind of wannabe. You calling me a wannabe? Oh, this is a secret. Oh, this is how you're supposed to... Wait, what? A secondary way to get here. I don't know. The drill... Wait, the lava hole was where the drill... Oh, right. I wondered where they came from. That does make sense. Still weird that you can't fall down them, though. She had Chipotle. The drill pulled out because she had... Oh. Curry night. I don't know what Chip... Wow! I don't know what Chipotle is. It's not curry though. Probably. How scary. It was just slowly coming around the corner like one of my childhood nightmares. That I know I've told about, but I might as well tell again. Can't be midwives, but they can be mid-husbands. Is a mid-husband a thing? Probably not. Come punny. Anyone seen the fresco they just unearthed? Pizza? No, cheese is yellow as well, you know. Yellow? Uh, yeah. A childhood nightmare. I went downstairs, this was like in my first house that I lived in, and like everything was off, it was all dark and stuff, but um, the, f the whole family was sitting on the couch like staring forward or something, not moving or talking, just like staring as if waiting for something to happen, so I sat down next to them and looked as well, looking at a bit where like there was a part of the house where it went around a corner. And around the corner there was some kind yum. of... Yum! There wasn't a yum. It was very not yum. Some kind of weird, creepy demon face that slowly started to come around it. And my view sort of zoomed into it slowly. And that scarred me for a long time. As a kid. That doesn't sound very scary now, because you know how I feel about demons. But it wasn't a sexy demon. Yep, blue cheese. Was there any blue on it? I hope not. I've never tried blue cheese though, it's always put me off because it looks like veins, and veins aren't good. Hmm. Mozzarella. Is that the only cheese they have there? Maybe. Checkmate, cheese theists. Why is this level so long? It's only the second one. Two and a half hours in. I thought I was going to get this done in four hours. Oh shit, bags. This is going to be hard. Oh. You just give me an, a BFG. Sorry guys, I've got a room to explore, but you first. Exploring you first. Okay, good enough. Can't even go back there. Played hide and seek with a heavy trooper in fear one. 
creepy because it was so silent. Yeah, I remember getting, I don't know, I don't know if scared or creeped out or what, but I remember them being quite effective back in the day. It's weird how even just like a, oh, uh, uh, well done night dive. Even just like a high tech soldier guy can be kind of scary. And they make a, a weird noise as well. <coughs> Not exactly, that was a rubbish rendition. Yeah, those guys are creepy. You're going to the toilet for a wee? I'll oh, stop right there, say no more. That is a nightmare. And a kid could probably be scared of strange fluids coming out of their body before they understand how the body works. Some Medusa jumps out of the toilet. Vores you, and you end up in a dungeon full of archers from Hexen 2. What the hell? That is a strange dream. Speaking of strange dreams, that's something I was planning to do. When I went through my backup DVDs recently, I grabbed all of my dream diaries and figured I could go through them on stream, maybe. Some of them I'm not going to read because they are content that I would rather not read. The very first one is called Meeting a Sexy Black Dragon. I don't know, I'll have to prepare a bit more for it though. Like separate the ones that are actually worth reading. So I won't do any today, but that's something something you can look forward to if that sounds exciting. Twice as weird as the average dream I see. Yeah, my dreams are weird and even that is like out there. Moldy. One of the weirdest dreams I remember, like from way back in childhood to the point where it's weird that I even remember it, is um I was like in a little RC car riding it or something, or maybe it was just a small car. And there was a big robot stomping around. I think it was in it was in like a big toy workshop or something, all bright and colourful with toy blocks and stuff everywhere. But then I drove the car up to the robot and somehow drove up the side of the robot while it was walking around. I don't remember anything else other than that, but that's just one that's always been in my memory for some reason. It's not a very interesting memory, but it's just weird. Too many games, probably. The only one they traditionally put on pizza are oh, mozzarella. Well then, I guess they deserve to be to be volcanoed after all if they put pineapple on their pizza. Exploring the bum. Now that's the kind of dream I want. It's super freaky. See, so making a horror game based on that—that that would it would work, I reckon. Some strange unknown shape creeping around a corner, especially if it's at like a distance, preferably down a hallway that you have to walk down. You know, what, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the other one. Wait, what is this thing? Nah. That was that was one of the things in Silent Hill 2. Like the, one of the creepiest moments in it was when you first see Pyramid Head. I think it's when you first see him anyway. When you're going down the hallway and the sound starts coming in. And then he's just standing there behind the gate. And you're like, what the fuck is that? He's not going to hurt you or anything. He's just kind of standing there. And you can just look at him while you shiver in fear. Wondering what the hell that is. Ah, atmospheric horror. It's beautiful. It's giving me shivers just thinking about it. Bloody hell, Silent Hill. The best. Ah. Ah, who's hurting me? I'm trying to look at chat. I tabbed in for a moment and heard... Ah! I've got to scroll back a little bit. BBDD. Big Bad Dragon Dong. What is BBDD? Oh. Oh yeah, I think I get it. Hell yeah. Hot hell yeah as well. Yep, yep, yep. There was a kobold in me even even back then, dreaming of dragons. But no, I was a dragon in that dream. I remember that much. One could even say it was a dragon dream. 
We used to get dreams of familiar places have something weird going on. You could tell it's weird or something to be worried about. If one of the dream just shrugs it off. Yeah, that happened a lot as well. That was another dream I had when I was a kid, like I was I was in the house, the same house. Like everyone was just acting natural as if nothing was wrong. But there was like a uh, a big lava wave coming or something. I don't remember how I knew about it. But there was a, a lava wave coming towards our, our town or whatever, where the house was. And I was telling everyone to get out, but they wouldn't. So eventually I just had to go out and run away from it. And then I looked back and saw the lava wave like go over all the houses. I guess that must be a childhood thing, maybe. Somehow. I don't know. I would imagine it's probably a common thing or something. Too much Toy Story watchings, maybe. That probably had some influence. Is that to the um, the car driving up the robot thing? Probably. One drip? Reminds you of a drip. You're in a car with your dad driving down the road near our corner shop. Turn into a 90 degree imp ass a bull thing. Dad tries driving up it. Oh, like 90 degrees going up in the air. Moldy. Monster that had a soft boiled egg looking head. Lots of little scorpions came out of it. What the hell? Everything was super red other than the black scorpions. Weird. I love dreams. They're so fascinating. Like, what causes these things? At least when we're we're like more grown up and stuff, they kind of make more sense in some ways. Like it generally involves things that have been on your mind or something. Something that's just in the back of your mind somewhere or, or been on your mind a lot. But back when you're a kid, anything and everything could happen. Metal scraping you. Silent Hill 2 is a special. Flying somewhere DBZ style. That sounds fun. Power fantasy dream. Still use a big fun fair a mile or two from your house. Floating above it was a huge wide hot air balloon with a scary face on it. It's almost like the um Junji Ito story with the head balloons where people's heads come off and fly around as big balloons. Uh, 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 uh. God, what an annoying shit. Oh. oh. Power shit. Zoop. Oh, stop going up the box. That's cheating. You've got wheels. Or whatever. Whatever you call them on a tank. And then you come along. Congratulations on beating the boss. I'm here to take down the last bit of health that you've got left after that. Oh, and another one. The ones who think they can come in after it's all over and get the credit. The boss did all the hard work. Ow. What? Power armor? No. Wow! Might as well use the items, gonna lose them anyway. Use it or lose it. 